today's episode, we caught up with KGI School of Pharmacy and Health Sciences Adjunct Associate Professor Dan Kudo. This week, Kudo will receive the California Society of Health System Pharmacists Distinguished Service Award at the Society's annual conference in San Diego. Throughout this interview, Kudo talks about his career journey and the enjoyment he gets from mentoring the KGI PharmD students. Dan, thank you so much for taking the time today to join us on the podcast. I wanted to backtrack a bit. Uh, How did you first become interested in being a pharmacist? Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, I first became interested in becoming a pharmacist after graduating with a bachelor's degree in biology from Cal State LA. And I happened upon a close friend of mine whose uh, father was a pharmacist. And she was able to help me by introducing me to him. And I was able to ask him a lot of questions. And so that's actually how I became interested in pharmacy was actually through a family friend. And jumping around a bit here, but can you share how you how that led you to become medical science liaison or MSL? I uh, became a medical science liaison after serving in several other capacities. I began my pharmacy career in retail. I spent more than 20 years in hospital pharmacy and then two and a half years in managed care. And over that time, I was able to see the role of the medical science liaison emerge And I became very, very interested in that because from my observation and talking to other people that were in this role, they were able to talk with quite a number of high-level thought leaders. And so that's how I became interested in becoming an MSL. And when you first introduced the MSL pathway to KGI's current PharmD students, how do you describe that opportunity and maybe which students and graduates are a good fit for that role? I'll preface that by saying that from many pharmacists' perspective, going to industry or even going to managed care is going to the, quote, dark side. However, uh, I think that one of the things that I stress to the students is what the MSL job actually truly does entail. It does not entail selling a product. It entails selling a commodity, and that commodity is science, talking about scientifically how a drug fits into a certain class, and the ability to talk with actually high-level practitioners. In my case, it was mostly cardiologists and some endocrinologists, but I think the unique thing about the MSL role is you're able to integrate or meet with people that have national and even international reputations. Along your career journey, how did you first become introduced to KGI and what made you feel like it was going to be a good fit for you? I uh, first became interested or uh, learned of KGI through a friend that actually was on faculty and still is on faculty, Dr. Kim Talian. Uh, She's a personal friend of mine, and she let me know that uh, the first class had uh, uh, begun, and she gave me the opportunity to participate in the problem-based learning. So I was able to participate as volunteer faculty from the very first class and continued that. It was only when I left AstraZeneca at 2017 that uh, I actually found that there was an opening available on faculty uh, and I was able to demonstrate my qualifications and I got the job. That's terrific. And now at this point, what courses do you teach and what are your responsibilities as a member of the faculty? The courses that I teach include uh, acute coronary syndrome in the MTO segment of the uh, curriculum. I also teach when asked pharmacy management because of my management background. And finally, I uh, am involved with the introduction to industry, the FAR 370 course. Let's talk about the California Society of Health System Pharmacists, or CSHP for short. During their upcoming conference in San Diego, you'll receive the CSHP Distinguished Service Award. Can you talk about what that honor means to you? 
Yes, I can. First, I'll just give everyone an overview of what CSHP. CSHP was founded in 1962 and is a not-for-profit professional association established to serve the needs of hospital and health system pharmacists. And so I've been a member of CSHP since the mid-1970s. I know that makes me very old when people do the math. However, um, I think that the Distinguished Service Award recognizes an individual annually who's made an exceptional and sustained contribution to the society and the professional uh, and the profession at large. And so uh, I'm very honored by uh, being selected as Distinguished Service Award winner. Obviously gotten the chance to, to mentor so many of these KGI PharmD students with the first class graduating this past May. What do you feel like are some of the most impressive qualities of the PharmD students and you know all KGI students here on campus? One of the things that impressed me the most from the very beginning is the level of maturity of the Keck students, primarily because they are already graduates. They've already received a bachelor's degree from an accredited college. That's a very important thing for me as a level of maturity to level set. And then the second thing that impresses me is their work ethic. And so the students that I mentor, I have them do a lot of homework in addition to all that they're doing in school and their classwork. And uh, my hope is that we can find the right career that matches the passion of each of the students. Being that you've been able to you know, be a part of the pharmacy field and how it's progressed. How do you feel like KGI students are being prepared for the the constantly evolving profession? One of the ways that KGI is really helping to uh, make the students very prepared is the uh, vision of uh, Dean Webster and the four tracks that she has, experiential tracks, the medication therapy outcomes, healthcare management, um, healthcare informatics, as well as research and clinical trials, which is the industry uh, rotation or industry track. I think that this positions the student with the certification in any one of these four areas to have a much stronger resume. In addition, uh, I and other faculty are also helping the students to focus on strengthening their resume by doing things like research and participating in a leadership capacity. Well, thanks very much, Dan, for taking the time and enjoy the, the ceremony and the conference in San Diego. I'm pleased to do it, and I'm, I'm very honored to be the Distinguished Service Award winner, and uh, I'm also honored to be a faculty member at CAC.